Alright, so we got some really exciting new details of AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7 4700G APU flagship. It turns out it's just been benchmarked. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the performance you're getting from this monolithic ship is quite remarkable. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at these benchmarks, but obviously we're gonna look at the specifications, release date, and possible price for these new APUs soon to release. And all of this good stuff is coming up in this video, so stick around. Let's get into it. So this rather massive leak is coming from IT Cooker where the processor was tested. Now I keep saying massive leak and what makes it so interesting is that the ship being tested is in fact final retail unit. So numbers we're seeing are representing final performance. Now the benchmark was conducted in Cinebench R20 and Cinebench R15 multi-core tests. The motherboard used was a ASRock B550 Tai Chi with 16 gigs of RAM. Now to the numbers in Cinebench R20 the CPU scored 5000 102 points while in Cinebench R15 the CPU scored 2168 points. Now numbers alone don't say much so let's do a comparison. So if we take the score of the Ryzen 7 4700G it turns out yeah these numbers are pretty damn impressive. For example a desktop shiplet based Ryzen 7 3800X scores around 5000 points in Cinebench R20 and 21000 points within Cinebench R15. And so this Ryzen 7 4700G outscores Ryzen 7 3700X or any other Ryzen below that which again is very very impressive for a ship of this sheer size. Now in case you are a bit out of the loop upcoming Ryzen 7 4700G codename Renault R is based off of the super super successful Fortheon Ryzen for mobile that was introduced just recently. These are Sand 2 based monolithic ships with built in Vega graphics unlike desktop Ryzen which uses chiplet design with CCXs and you know what now you'll die in the middle. Now what makes these chips in particularly interesting is that they are you know fairly cheap to make. They got plenty of performance and they're not too power hungry. Now the cool thing about these APUs is that they are you know meant to fit tons of performance including both the processor and a GPU unit. Now compared to a desktop based CPU who usually sits around 95 watt TDP, the 47 700G is only 65 watt. Yeah, let's look at the specifications for the top flagship. Now taking a look at this leaked CPU sad screenshot, we can see that the Ryzen 7 4700G is indeed based off of the 7 nanometer Sun 2 core architecture. It features 8 cores and 16 threads. We got 4 megabytes of L2 and 8 megabytes of L3 cache. And so in other words, a total of 12 megabyte cache. The CPU, the top flagship, features a base clock of 3.6 gigahertz. And it has a boost clock of 4.45. And this also matches earlier specification leaks. The CPU again operates at 65 watt TDP and it is compatible with AIM4 socket. The built in graphics features an enhanced 7 nanometer Vega GPU, which comes with 8 CUs and a total of 512 cores. And the cool thing here is that AMD has been able to clock it fairly high. And we can see that, yes, this one is clocked at 2100 megahertz, which which makes it one of the fastest clocked integrated graphics chip to date. But yeah, apart from the flagship alone, AMD also plans at least two additional SKUs here. We got the Ryzen 5 4400G. This is supposed to be a 6 core 12 thread APU with, with 8 CUs clocked at 1.9 GHz. We also find the Ryzen 3 4200G. This is a 4 core 8 thread APU with 6 CUs clocked at 1.7 GHz. Now, any of these APUs can be a brilliant option for anyone that want to build you know a very super cheap gaming pc we have actually seen what these chips are capable of and if you're not too picky you can reach 60 fps on average in many games now the ryzen 4000 renoir desktop apus are planned for launch in the coming months so there is no doubt we're gonna see lots of additional news coming from amd in the following weeks ahead we have no word surprising yet but we speculate that these uh, won't be too pricey now the previous generation APU flagship Ryzen 5 2400G retailed for $170. If the 40 APUs follow suit, a similar pricing wouldn't be unreasonable. Now, given that the 4700G is a Ryzen 7 model, CN AMD asking around $220 to $240. 
seems quite reasonable. Obviously guys, I cannot wait to build a new gaming PC with one of these new APUs. Right now we know that AMD is planning at least 3 models for us. Which one are you the most excited for? The 4700, the 4400 or the 4200? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, watch either of these two videos to learn more and I will see you guys in the next video.